Hey everybody. All right. Next in my uh, my update series, I wanted to talk a little bit about the mechanics of my setup here. So I've tried to automate as much as possible the operation of these vivariums, and I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. But basically, if I go in and clean the glass and and I feed the geckos every other night or so. Um, that's about all the maintenance I do. Uh, that and trimming the plants when they get too crazy. Um, everything from the watering to the lighting is all automated. Uh, it's all on a timer. And so I thought I'd give you guys a good shot at what my setup really looks like, what makes it tick. So first off, I guess before I get into it, I should say that this is obviously built in a closet. So I had an extra closet in my room. I don't really use it as a room. It's more like a den. I got my computer and stuff over here. So this is what I stare at when I get bored. So let's talk about what I've got in here. So first off, what I did was I ran an electrical outlet to the inside of the closet. Let's see if you can see that. Right. You can see I ran an electrical outlet to the inside of the closet right there. All right, uh, and then I've got a Zilla power center timer set up for my lights, my pump, which is on the same as my lights, my fogger, I'll talk about that in a minute, and my misting system. Okay, now the misting system has its own timer, and that's a uh, Mist King misting system, and it's on its own separate timer. Uh, so that Zilla timer back there, what that does is that actually has two timer wheels on it. can't really see the, the second one, but controls day, night, and then it has a second one that you can control a variety of functions with. And what I have on that one is I have my fogger come on about three or four times a day, and I just adjust that ever so slightly um, during the year, say in the winter when it gets a little drier or on the fogger a little bit more, things of that nature. Um, the lights are on a 12-hour uh, on 12 hour off time and what I've got is four T8 bulbs in there two 6700K two 5700K um, eventually I'll probably blow them all out to uh, 6700K but I just haven't had a chance to to do it or the desire to spend the money on it not that it's a lot but you know I've been spending it on my aquariums um, the system itself obviously I've got two misting nozzles here if you're not familiar with Mist King misting systems, they're very articulate nozzles. You can point them in any direction you want. You can aim them, keep them away from your glass, and so on. And these are what they call zero drip. So it has a release valve down by the pump. And when I get to that, I'll talk about that a little bit more. But basically keeps the uh, turns off the pressure right away so that these nozzles don't drip a lot after you're done watering. So it makes it for pretty, pretty precise watering conditions. All right, so the fogger itself is actually run up these two pipes here, uh, just above. I'm planning on covering that with my hood if I ever get around to making it, but um, as you can see I've got uh, valves there where I can actually control the amount of fog so I can balance it out because obviously when it comes across this pipe, uh, one tank is apt to get more fog than the other. So I've got a little valve there, and right now they're pretty balanced, but when I add the third one, it's going to make a big difference. I'll be able to control that a little bit better. All right. Um, just so you know, for watering, I actually have a drainage layer in there, and I've got my timing on my watering and the amount of water that I'm doing um, set up so that the soil is moist and that it never really exceeds that water line right there. So there's always water available, but there's never enough water that I need to drain it. Uh, unless I make a mistake and I water too much. I've done that. I'll tell you about that some other time. Now, all my components actually sit under here in what looks like these drawers. So on this side, I've got full drawers, and I keep all my stuff in here for my aquarium and, and my vivarium. Uh, but this section of drawers right here, this bottom, these bottom three drawers, is actually not a set of drawers at all. It actually is a false panel that I can remove. So I set that aside. You can see that's my false panel. So in here is the heart of my system. So I've got a five gallon bucket that I fill with distilled water 
or RO water, depending on what I've got available to me. And that is the five gallons that my misting system uses. I've got my misting system pump right there, which is a, a diaphragm pump. You can actually run that thing dry for hours on end. So even if I run out of water by mistake, it'll still run. And then this loop into the main line right here, this part right here, that is the zip drip. That's the release valve that pushes the air back into this feed line after the pump, or before the pump, I should say, pushes the air back in to this tank and keeps the pressure off of the misting nozzles when the system is off so they don't drip. Then I've also got my fogger, which is pretty standard Walgreens cold air uh, misting humidifier. I've actually modified the output with a little duct tape, good old duct tape, to my hose, my hose that actually runs up out the back, up the side, and across into the tanks themselves. And if I could reach it, I think what I'll show you is this is the extent of the scientific connection that I have. It's a 90 degree connection on that hose and it just sits on top of the screen and comes down. And what I can do is we'll turn that on. There's a nice blue light to let me know that it's going on. And you can sit here and you can see that we get some nice flow of mist, which will eventually kind of fill up about halfway on this tank uh, as well on the other tank. This is how I maintain my, uh, my humidity without wa overwatering too much. Uh, since there's crested geckos in here, they, they tend to like the humidity. Um, I'd say somewhere between, anywhere between 50 and 75 is really ideal. Anything more than that long term, you know, obviously the reptiles, they can develop uh, respiratory problems, things of that nature. Uh, if the humidity is too high for them. So uh, this tends to uh, even it out from the morning waterings. I water every other day, uh, except on the weekends. I let, I let everything dry out on the weekends, but I fog every day. Uh, on a regular basis so and that really tends to last a couple of months it's a little blurry it really tends to last a couple of months so I don't I don't change it that often I clean it every time I change it but other than that that is the automation of my system so I hope you enjoy it if you have any questions go ahead and leave me a comment uh, happy to answer it and thank you bye